Hello, beautiful Zags. This is your April 2020 reading. This is Star Sister Oracle. My name is Mache. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. So this is going to be a quick six card spread. Going to throw down an Oracle card and anything else that I feel called to pull. Let's see what Spirit has to say for y'all in April 2020. If this doesn't feel like the full story, please go ahead and check your sun, moon, and rising. And yeah, Zags, hope y'all been good. Hope y'all been good fellow sister sign all right six cards spirit for my sags hmm. right. i'm walking away from all the troubles in my life i'm walking away is that uh craig david But the Eight of Cups just came out in that song, came to me. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups. What is this in regards to spirit? Mm -hmm. Knight of Pentacles, please. Y'all see all that smoke from the sage coming up in here? Oh, wow. All right, all right, all right. And then the... Give me a second here, Sags. Let me make sure I'm asking the right question. Ooh, beautiful. Wow. Bottom of the deck is the imprints. All right. Creation, gestation, um, coming into an inner knowing about your creations. And we've got two fours on the board. So 44 and 33 are the two, are the numbers that we have here. So 33 and 44, if you guys wanna look up those angel number meanings. All right, so Scorpio. So it feels like you guys are moving away from, maybe literally moving, but you guys are kind of thinking about and kind of pining over a new an, an, an old lover um or uh, or the promise or of a new love or a new project or a new opportunity yeah something that you maybe you were in the process of creating and you feel a bit turned away you feel like it sort of stopped before it could start i'm feeling very strongly it's like something starts, like it ended it as, as, as quickly as it started. The fire was extinguished. Oh, just broke my nail. Chipped it. All right. Yeah, five of cups at the bottom. One more shuffle. So yeah, it feels like you guys... It feels like you guys, something stopped before it could even start. And now either you're moving into something else or you're realizing about this thing. Um, it, it requires more diligent action. It requires more strategy with the Knight of Pentacles here, right? He's our strategist. He gets, he's the knight that's going to get the, the deal done. He's going to finish what he started, right? And it feels like you get a, a message from spirit or, or you know and i and when i say message from spirit sometimes that comes through a friend right that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be sitting on your couch and then you have a have an an, an, an an insight or an aha moment sometimes spirit speaks to you through song sometimes spirit speaks to you through a friend okay so keep that with you sags and tell your friends um so it's like it's like, yeah, it's like you guys were pining over something that stopped before it could start. And now you're, you're realizing that you're, a new approach is necessary in order to reach completion. This feels like a love reading. Yeah. <laughs> Adversity just came out. Yeah, you guys are like dealing. This is definitely like your, your relationship has, um, it's, re it, 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 it's, it's, it's reached some friction. Okay, it's reached some friction and, and, and then we've got purify at the bottom of the deck. Like I said, yeah, you're needing to go back in and, and, and create something anew with the world and then the four of wands and then the page of cups, which is why I feel like this is a love reading. 
you guys are needing to go back in and, and rectify. I don't know why I've heard the word rectify um, this situation in order to cre create harmony for the greater good. So if this is familial, right, you really do need to, right, it's like, okay, we have a lot of moving parts, right? If this was like maybe some sort of, uh, maybe a business that you had, a business idea that you had with your family and now it kind of stopped before it started or some, there's an explosive argument and now you guys have kind of, the, the, the idea is done or, you know, maybe you and the, your partner were kind of having an idea about moving in together and then something happened and one of you guys are thinking, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. I think I might walk away from, from this, right? Um, or starting a family, right? And it's just like you need to, you guys just need to rethink this, okay? Actually, hold on, before I pull these cards, I'm going to throw some romance because for some of you this is a love. It's a love thing. It's a love thing, love thing, thing. It's a love thing. It's a love thing. It's a love thing is the song. Get into it. All right. Tell me more about this. This energy sphere for my sags in the month of April. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Like I said, right, like starting a family or moving in together, right? So engagement doesn't necessarily mean proposal, but it, the relationship was trying to ascend and then something happened. There is a, a, a wrench in the plans. Advice spirit. Thank you. Mmm advice it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all highest energy of all is love and then we've got forgiving and learning at the bottom of the deck so this is right adversity is a time for us to learn right conflict resolution is what you're about to learn here sags so you guys were want like I said something start started stopped before it could really start and now you guys are needing a little you guys are needing to think things through right page of cups is like spirited and like I'm just I'm inspired let's just move in together and the knight of pentacles is like Err! let's come up with a plan can we afford to move in together can we afford a child right now uh, does our current situation uh, support the 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 new commitments that we're trying to make to one another because we're wanting to build a new world together we're wanting to create a new community right a new nucleus right we're wanting this sort of togetherness this sort of harmony a new commitment right but you guys have to some one of you in this dynamic is feeling mistrustful you're you're scared you're scared to love you're scared to put all the chips in you know you're scared to you know what i mean the poker when you i'm all in right that's right you're like one of you are like i don't know i don't know if i'm all in right i don't know i don't know i kind of want to walk away i kind of uh, 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 right and like i said we did have the imprints here so i'm feeling like uh, uh, having a child or starting a family for some of you right now some of you guys are, are a little bit worried of course you are we're in the middle of a fucking global pandemic right and but you guys have to remember the highest energy of all is love and if you guys truly love each other go all in that's the only way to do it um and forgiving and learning forgive yourself for past wrongs forgive your ex-lovers forgive yourself though most importantly learn from your old um old relationships right know that you are now a new too and you've grown so much and now you're 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 a better communicator and you're not afraid to tell your partner you know what i'm i was feeling jealous in that moment or you know what i was feeling really unworthy in that moment or you know i'm having a really hard time with this self-isolation thing and i'm feeling very unmotivated right so many of us are so <clears throat> afraid and a fear. I just talked about this on my Instagram. We're so afraid of rejection that we will we will keep ourselves from the intimacy we so deeply seek, right? Our people want to be here for us, right? 
yeah, they're going through their own things. And of course we have to be emotionally responsible enough and mature enough to say, okay, now is the time to share this or checking in to make sure that is a good time to share uh, your, your yearnings or your insecurities, right? But you chose this person, so they should be able to show up for you, right? This is what they've decided. Uh, you guys have already been in some sort of commitment, right? You guys have already, in a, in a sense, committed to each other in one form of another, where, whether it's a, in a, it's a ring or if you guys have now decided to start a family right like in order to get to those levels of commitment you guys have been committing to being there for each other so so trust that it's safe it's safe it's safe it's safe you are safe okay whatever happens is all happening for you you know we're all gonna get our hearts broken we're all gonna and we're all gonna mend again my my god sister joey was just telling me this you're gonna get your heart broken and then you're gonna mend you're gonna lose and then you're gonna learn you're gonna lose and then you're gonna gain like this is life you know, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to love if this is for you or for your partner. You know, come together with them. Um, I know. Angel cards. Because I'm feeling some resistance like, oh, but how do I, how do I get them to, how do I get myself to trust or, or how do I know if it's right? And, oh, just stop thinking so much. <laughs> The situation will improve. <laughs> All right, so don't worry. Trust. Take a bath. Take a love bath. Remember all the love in your life. Remember all the, the, the moments of love. Recall the moments of love that you have every day and know that more love is always coming to you and that there's someone in your life that wants to give, that wants to, you know, wants to start a life with you, wants to have some new levels of commitment with you. Don't push away from that, you know? Like, it's probably, you guys are probably both af afraid, right? We've just got for success and forgiveness. Forgive and learn, forgiving and learning. So, okay, lots of forgiving here, all right? Forgive yourself for any past wrongs, for any past misfortunes in your love before or starting a family right if you've had trouble having a baby i'm feeling um you know there's success here there's success here it's safe to love here sags oh and then at the bottom of the deck it's up to you all right you get to choose you get to and you get to choose i love this from a, a podcast i was listening to it was like you get to choose what failure is for you is failure you not marrying this person? Is that a, is that does that mean the relationship failed because you guys didn't get married? Is your relationship a failure just because you guys can't have children on your own? Now you guys can adopt. Is it a failure if you guys, you know, are able to move in together? At least you guys are have a, a deep enough relationship where, you know, you guys are wanting that sort of level of commitment, but just not right now, right? <laughs> this global pandemic is just like, some of you guys just aren't gonna be able to have what you want in this moment with your partner just because of the circumstances, but you get to choose the conditions. You get to choose the, the outlook, right? You get to innovate the relationship in this moment. How beautiful, what a time to be innovative in our relationships.